Hey guys, uh, so we're out here in my garage uh, and I vowed to myself a while back that I would never touch 18650s because they were too much of a pain in the ass really. Uh, and here I am uh, playing with 18650s. Uh, so I've had a little bit of time off work uh, and looking for stuff to do and I figured I would build a battery for my kids Power Wheels uh, car. Uh, so this is, uh, these are some uh, Ryobi uh, 40 volt packs that I got off of battery hookup. Uh, they got 20 18650s in them uh, and uh, I'm gonna be uh, trying to pull them apart and see what I can do with them here. So welcome to my garage and we'll see how this goes. So I've dis disassembled the packs here. Uh, these were how they come apart. Couple screws in the back under this label. Uh, and there are four screws up top here and they just pop right apart. So very easy to take them apart. Uh, so I was trying to figure out how to get this circuit board off of here. Uh, all of these packs are testing at like one volt or less uh, for the whole pack. Uh, so, you know, not a lot of voltage there. Um, I tried, you know, desoldering. I have a little desoldering tool. That was a pain in the ass. Uh, I tried, you know desoldering and then snipping and that was a pain in the ass so here now i'm trying uh something with my uh, oscillating multi-tool i'm going to cut off the solder joints and then try desoldering them just so there's not so much on there uh there there are as you can see here uh it's all these little tabs that one that one that one another three over here three over here and three over here so it's 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 very difficult to to desolder them and uh you know, get them to, to loosen up. Um, so I'm going to try this with a multi-tool here and we'll see how this goes. So here it is. Uh, what I've done is I've just uh, cut off all the tabs here. Uh, some of you might be cringing because there is still a little bit of voltage here. It's like it's like one volt. I think this one actually was like 0. 0.2 volts. There's there's next to nothing. Um, I'm ready to throw the thing out the door if something bad happens, but we'll just uh, we'll go with that. So I left the screws in just so the circuit board would stay. Uh, you know, in place. Uh, I'm going to take the screws out now. I'm assuming I'm going to have to desolder a little bit, uh, but they should pop off pretty easily, I'm hoping here. So let's uh, pull some screws out and see if they, see if they come apart. I think that was it. All right, yeah, so they're still stuck on there a little bit, but uh, I'll heat up the soldering iron and see if we can pull this off pretty easily. You seem to be popping with just a little bit of heat just to get rid of the the solder that's in the in the joint there. I'd just like to make it clear that if these packs were charged, I would not be doing it like this. I would be a lot more careful uh, and paying a lot more attention to where I was putting the pry bar and everything. So be careful with charged packs. Oh, 
That one. Put one over here. Okay, there we go. So, board's off. Nothing blew up. Um, and that's going to get tossed. I am going to try to save a couple of these. Um, I have some that are. They're about at one volt. I have two of them back here. Um, I'm going to try charging up each cell and seeing if it does anything. Uh, got a little power supply on its way. so. Uh, but here you go. So this is what we took off. Uh, this one has Samsung cells and the rest of them I have. Um, I already pulled these ones apart. These ones have LG cells. Uh, from what I've read, the specs are basically the same on the two. And uh, yeah, so that's how that's how I'm pulling these apart here. Uh, and let's see. We'll put this bit in here. And these two just come apart. So these are uh, these are in 10s, uh, so 36 volt really, uh, 2p, and uh, I'm going to be uh, pulling them apart and testing the cells on them. Um, a couple of these were pretty much at zero, so don't know that I could use those, but we'll try charging them up at a pretty low rate and see if we can get them to come back to life. I'm going to test the voltage of this one pack here. This is 10s, so. Should be 36 volts if it's charged, and it is 0 0.007 volts across there. What is that? Okay, uh, 0 0.015 volts. So this thing is dead, 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 dead. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull all these cells out of here. Uh, it looks like they're all they're all spot welded on here, uh, and they're in a 10s configuration. I'm going to see if I can get these off here. I think the uh, the nickel strip here is uh, embedded in the plastic somehow so they just have this whole thing put together and then they plop it on and then they spot weld it together let's see if that does it there we go so that just comes right off like I thought that's all embedded in here uh, so I'm gonna hold on to these and see I might be able to use them to uh, to put these back together once uh, once I got all the cells checked and charged and everything. We'll see how that goes. On this side as well. Gonna check all these cells real quick and see what what's going on. 0 0.006, nothing, nothing, nothing. Put those three over there. 0 0.002, 0 0.002, 0 0.001. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a 0 0.001 on that. Yep, that one has something. Nothing on that one. 0 0.005. So these ones all over here have nothing that my meter registers at least. Um, speaking of a friend about these and he said that you know if you got 
absolutely no voltage on here. Uh, odds of them coming back are slim to none. Uh, I'm going to give them a try anyway. I'm going to put them on the, the charger uh, very, very slowly, see if I can get anything into them at all. Uh, and then we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, this was one of the worst packs. It looks like they got a good amount of water damage. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of corrosion, uh, on the boards here. Uh, you can see this one, this one's got a lot of corrosion there. Um, we got, this one's all rusty right over on this side here. And, uh, there were some, some cells that had some corrosion on them as well. Um, could be water damage, could be something else. I don't know, but, uh, they were in pretty rough shape. So, uh, yeah, we'll get to testing them and see what happens. I don't currently have a tester, so I'm going to, uh, well, I'll get it and then we'll see where that goes. That's all I'm going to do for today. Uh, thanks guys for watching and, uh, I'm going to try to get this pack, uh, put together while I'm at home here. We're, we're still at home for at least another month in Vermont here, so. Um, try to get this built and see what I can do with it. Uh, definitely won't be doing too many 18650 videos once I'm back to work. Uh, but I will be showing you guys some of the stuff that I'm doing at work, which is some pretty large battery systems as well as pretty large grid tie systems as well. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Thanks.